Hello everyone. My name is Shannon Ford and I'm the principal clarinetist of the Adrian Symphony. I'm speaking with you today to share a little bit about what this time has been like for me, what I've been doing and how I've been uh, keeping myself busy and needed, I suppose, in these times. I like to cook, I like to garden, I like to read, and all of those things are happening exponentially more during this time, which is good. My gardening is native gardening. I have 66 varieties of native plants in my rel relatively small city yard, um, and uh, it's real fun to do. Some of the neighbors appreciate it, and some don't, of course. Those are the kinds of things that I'm able to do more of uh, now that I've had less work and, and less less going on otherwise. I've also been able to visit with some people that maybe those visits wouldn't have happened because we're less busy and most of my interaction with people has been online, of course, for most of us. And I moved all of my teaching online in March, which was a bit of a paradigm shift and a little bit challenging. But it actually opened some doors that hadn't uh, been able, been possible or hadn't been able to be opened before. So in some ways it's been a good thing. It's been a very good thing. One of the things that I did because of that was I ran a basic improv camp, which, you know, trying to get all those people in my house or trying to find an institution where I could do that really really hard but doing it through zoom it was actually quite good uh, the students really enjoyed it it was fun we all learned something and we all grew from it got a lot of positive feedback from doing that but another thing that i did early was i started these drive-by performances so i emailed all of the students parents and i said you know spirits are kind of low here what can we do i'd like to come and play something for you know your child your son your daughter and um, it'd be cool if we could do this as a surprise. So here's the weekend, what's your availability? And I got almost all of my students uh, to commit to that particular weekend. Uh, the parents were really super excited to, to be in on this surprise. It was really very cute. So I showed up, my husband was the driver and I would sit in the back seat and some of my students are clarinet students, some are saxophone students, so I had to switch back and forth depending upon uh, who was next. I had to group them so that, you know, I wasn't driving north-south, north-south, north-south. It was complicated, but it was really fun. Here is an example of playing for uh, a student, and I was on saxophone, and I played a little bit of um, Star, Star Wars. Here's a student who I played clarinet for, and he was happy to be surprised. His mom is here in the background, and uh, it was all a really good experience. So I played for about uh, 16 or 17 students in, in that weekend. It was a busy weekend, <laughs> but it was really cool. What it looks like for me to teach is something like this. I have Zoom up and running. I can see the student. I can hear the student, and then I have my music on the screen also so that I can watch both at the same time. Um, another thing that I did, I put together this outside ensemble so it's all my saxophone and clarinet students pretty much participated. Um, we found a church that was kind enough to let us use uh, their outdoor space and be under their tent and uh, it's a mix of saxophone and clarinet students and here is a little bit. Uh, so that's what that looks like. And I had another picture of a of a drive-by performance I wanted to share with you. Um, this one had a pretty big audience. It was all the kids, the parents, and a girlfriend over at the house. So it was well a well a well attended little concert. <laughs> so um, the the other thing I want to share with you is that I've been doing um, I've been putting together my YouTube channel, doing a much better job of having some things that I've done that I've been proud of available online. If that's something anybody wants to check out, I've got uh, my 
performance of the Mozart clarinet concerto with the Lima Symphony that I did a few years back of, um, up most recently. I've also got a lot of my saxophone playing, both classical and jazz represented, and there'll be more coming as I get more time to put that together. So hopefully you have enjoyed this window into my online teaching and professional life. Uh, before I leave you, I will play something for you. This is Miklos Rocha's Sonatina. This is just the an abbreviated version of the last movement. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for being with me today.